hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is the same day same clothes same me same time filming that different video the first video that i did i don't know if this is going to go before that video or that video before this video i am not sure which one i'm uploading first but if you see me in this clothes and that was the same day same me same everything now the first video i filmed it is about what you need for your embassy appointment now i'm going to film a video on the questions that they may ask you while you're at your interview you know i don't want this video to be too long just like i just like what i said for the one before this other one after this i don't want it to be long i just want it to be short sweet informative right to the point just in case you know i'm a person i don't like long videos so yeah and as i said before just in case you didn't watch the first video as well or the next video my agency is the agency of cultural exchange they are located at three Cargill avenue kingston 10 shop 30. right so i have here embassy interview questions these these are questions my agency provided me with for the j1 work and travel program the first question says what is the purpose of this trip now the purpose of this trip is for cultural exchange for you to meet persons that are not in your culture and to tell them more about your culture so they're from jamaica dominican republic um romania um thailand um wherever you're from that is the purpose of the of you attending this program right um don't tell them say i'm going to make money guys don't tell do not tell the people them say i'm going to make money that immediate turn down if you can be plan figure don't tell them say i make go 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 make money because that's not your plan right okay what do you want why do you want to go on this program so for cultural exchange international work experience meet new friends to market yourself to get a feel of what to you know stuff like those as i said not for money what is the name of your employer no as a j1 you must have an employer you cannot go to work and travel if you don't have an employer what who employer what appeal you must have an employer so the employer's name on this is dorney park dorney park right that's the name of that's the example on this sheet of paper give them a name provide them with a name what is the name of your employer Brittany project they need to know who you're going to how much will you earn per hour so the example on this is 725 much money i will make per hour ten dollar three dollar four dollar six dollar twenty dollar twenty one dollar twenty two dollar give them an answer make sure it's accurate because guys the officers at the embassy they know everything they have everything in front of you but they want to know if you know they want to know if you know so make sure you tell the truth make sure you have everything in your head study these questions know these questions because even when you get to america are you going to custom they're going to ask you questions and you need to know all of this how many hours are you guaranteed this it says 32 hours how much hour per week you're supposed to work on a contract that you sign you work in contract how many hours were on it is it 40 hours a week then send them a gear how much hours as a j1 you are not supposed to work less than 32 hours so, say for example, last year for me, um, the rain did a fall, did a fall, did a fall, did a fall, probably three times out of the week. And even when I took the line, I did cry because I said, no, I make the money. And I did work less than 32 hours. And then they have to pay me for 32 hours. My thing, yeah. They did have to pay me. Because no matter what, you are guaranteed 32 hours. If you work 10 hours, I have to pay for the charity because I know your part and that's the contract they signed, the contract they gave you. Where in the US will you be working? Which state? Which city? 
last year I worked at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So when the officer asked me, like, where will you be working, Miss Broderick? Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That's that's all the officer needs to know. You'll be working at where? What's this thing? Mm -hmm. I remember people, as I tell you, the people they know. Make sure you speak standard Jamaican English. Make sure you say them. Make sure you met them, say Yeah. When we reach America, we can communicate with people coming at our pop alone. I can speak XJE. Right? So make sure you speak properly. Where in address will you be staying? So the employer's address. What is the employer's address? Um, let me see if I can remember my employer's address from last year. I don't remember what I, I know it was nor Myrtle Beach, but I don't remember the exact I just what like, trust and believe last year I didn't know it because I know one of them no say Ray I don't know it when they ask me you know what I say so other girl you don't know where she work so make sure you know all that okay the next one is whom do you live with tell them who you live with your parents me live with my mother so I tell them my mother who will cover your trip no people i don't think you should say you because if you're a student you can't fund this trip you can't well that's what the officer is having in their heads you can't fund this trip so who is paying for this trip my aunt my parents my mom if they ask me that i would say my mom because she really and truly afford the trip because as i said before i'm a university student i have no money where am i going to get money from That the agency I look for in your brain, so where may I get the money from? Right, and the next question is What's your parents' occupation? Tell them what your parents do, where they work, can I work in you? What's your GPA? No, your GPA cannot be under 2.0. If your GPA is under 2.0 for the last semester, guys, do not sign up for the J1 work and travel, please. You're going to waste your embassy money and you're going to get turned down. It don't make no sense you sign up and your GPA low. Why your you GPA over 2.0? Under 2.0? Get it up in the 3.30. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, what, okay, what is your course of study? So I'm doing the example here. It says a Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Now, last year, I got that question. Where I study? I'm in a Bachelor of Education in Primary Education. Make sure you know what you are doing. Make sure you know people. Because people don't even know the officer or the thing say. Yeah, they're really gonna teach your education for you to start pretend. So make sure you know who is your sponsor. Remember, I told you that. Oh well, I said it in the previous video or in the video to come after this. My agency is ASEP, Agency of Cultural Exchange Program, and my sponsor is CCUSA. The sponsor is somebody that help guides you. They guide you while. You are in America. Guys, can you believe that my phone died? So the camera quality has a change, and you guys are closer to me now. What time do you talk and all the video and everything, you know? I feel like my efforts gone to waste. Oh, the next question is. Who is your insurance provider? No, my insurance provider is HCC, search HCC Insurance Healthcare Services. Make sure you know your insurance provider, guys, because if someone I'm not in America, you need to know who um who are gonna pay your bills. And bills in America they are very expensive. Hospital bills in America they are very, 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 very expensive. I cannot stress this anymore right um so that's a question they are going to ask you when will you be graduating which year is it november of 2019 is it this 
month is it next week is it 2023 2028 when are you graduating don't lie because they know just and believe remember me telling you said them in background check okay what is your job title and give a description of it are you going to be a cook a server a ride operator a waiter a waitress um a busser a dishwasher what are you going to do and where your job entails so like last year i was a cashier if you be asking that when i say i will run a point of sales system where i take people or I take people no let me just say to you so i was an admission cashier right and i was telling that guys when do that video you already i'm here to everybody would say that's what the phone did so sad but i was an admission cashier i would tell people information about the park give them the bills and the packages that we have which one is best for them and their family which one it makes more sense so know your information are you going to prepare food are you going to take order are you customer service what exactly are or what exactly will you be doing name of the contact person in america give them your employer's name your employer is the one that will take care although you are big people but if they need you who can they contact your employer when is your start and end date? So on your DS2019 that will be provided by your agency and sponsor, you can provide that to yourself because you can grant yourself permission for working in every country. So when when is your start date? Is it May 20th? Please people, make sure you know your visa work start date. You need to know that. That is something where you must know. You have to know that. So last year I was May 28th and then the end day was September 4th, right? So make sure you know all that. Do you have any family or relative, immediate family or relatives in the USA? Tell the people they met you because they know. Tell the people they met you. How many credits? Are you doing in school? Are you doing 19 credits? Are you doing 21 credits? Are you doing 18 credits? Are you doing 9 credits? Tell them last year I was doing 20 credits, 8 courses. I'm not sure, but if you be asked me that, that's in I am. I am doing 7 courses, 19 credits. So you know it out of the back of your head. You know, it had your GPA, GPA was at the back of your head. Which you know, then they went at the back of your head. Remember, I'm telling you, I can't I'm never telling you. Remember, I, am, I think I am experienced enough to speak about this. Make sure you know, guys, guys. Okay. The next question is, what are your plans after university? What do you plan on doing? What is your next step? How can you use your experience gained from the work and travel program in the future? Right? Um, make sure you no know, go up there and say, um, um, no, no, I, I'm not sure. What, uh, 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 you're supposed to know. Well, if you don't know, make up some pandas for your own university student. And of time you make up things so make up something on the spot and tell them which or just have something in your head that you really 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 wish to gain from this experience honestly um so guys i am not telling you anything bad anything wrong this i just gave you 23 23 questions they not ask a 23 question, but they are going to ask a question. Either three, four of them questions, even two of these questions, right? Give them uh, the correct answers. Be truth, truthful and just be honest with yourself too. Remember, tell you, they run background check. 
and yeah i won't be speaking any longer because i'll be making more videos probably not tonight but soon because i'm really tired tonight but soon so make sure you like share comment and subscribe and if you know of anybody participating in the dream or work and travel or want to participate in it you can contact me at Brittany underscore that Roderick on Instagram be right here and just hit me up with some other questions in the comment section I'll definitely help you so thank you for tuning in guys and I'll see you in my next video Thank mm -hmm. you.